Okay, so here's a video on getting stuff off the printer. Um, so, let's take that off. Now, um, I always clean my tools up as I go. I've always got one of these running. Um, so, um, first thing I'm going to do is get the excess um, resin off the top of that. Um, and I'm just careful to make sure I don't get any drips that go um, beyond the um, plate here, because that would suck. I clean this off. Uh, it's always nice to have clean tools. And then I just wipe that down across here, across the top. I'm just using toilet paper because it's easy. Um, now, I like to clean this off because otherwise it drips down your hand when you're um, handling it. Um, you notice I'm not using gloves. Um, I tend to just um, be careful so I don't get the resin on my fingers. Uh, I used to use gloves, but I found like it was just a bit of an unnecessary step. Also with the gloves, I can't feel if I've gotten um, resin on my fingers or something, and then I don't want to accidentally touch something. I'm gonna throw some bin, just got a little bin down there. Now, pull this off. And I'm going to carefully pop these off. Sometimes I actually hold the plate if it's going to be a really heavy, um, I've got to really crank into it. I'll hold the plate because I don't like distorting the plate. You've got to have somewhere that you don't mind getting resin on to pop these off onto, which is there. Oops. Okay, that's that. Now I'm going to clean all this crap up. You notice I have got some on my hands here. Whatever, it's fine. This I'll wipe down. And being aware that I've got resin on my fingers, I don't want to touch anything and get resin on it. Pop this back on here. nice and firm not over cranked but firm I do get little bits of resin on my fingertips um, I've got a bit of a tight workspace so I also clean this off again super anal about not having resin on things um, just wipe this up here <laughs> All right, um, next bit. I've got a um, funnel um, and a thingy that goes into a resin bottle. This is just a spare resin bottle that I've got sitting here. Um, put this back in there. I can... Undo these. Get myself another bit of tissue ready and then this is going to pour into here now this is mainly now I know this resin is going to be fine but just in case there's debris that's sort of been left in there which there hasn't I'll be able to see that um, it's important to do this step after every print just because um, if there's like little bits of broken off debris in there like I've got my prints came out nicely but maybe there's a bit of something floating in there that's gonna um, potentially ruin my next print but also I could end up breaking my um, filament or breaking my um, screen which would be really shit in my next print so anyway that's done and then I'm just going to wipe that corner make sure that I haven't gotten the resin underneath which I haven't but I always double check that and clean this off Now, um, this last print finished a day ago, so this is actually fine, this is fine to use again. Um, I'm not going to clean this film down, um, because the more you mess with your film, the sooner you go to replace it, and because it's only been a day, that's fine. Um, if it had been like a week, I would wipe that film down, with, and I, I'd clean it with isopropyl um, alcohol. Um, I'd also re-clean the top with isopropyl alcohol. 
These bits go back in here and here. Important to make sure these are evenly tensioned. So um, once I get them just on, just so, then I tension them both up at the same time. And that's um, that's ready to print again. Um, now this, I'm just going to pop this into my second bottle. Give it a really good shake. Again, I am about staying clean. If you don't keep these clean, what happens is resin will pull up and then it'll start dripping down the sides and then you've got a sticky bottle and no one wants a sticky bottle. Uh, let's pop that back in here again. Pop that in there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, that's ready to print again. So I'm actually going to... I've got another print that's already ready to go. So I'm going to get that going. Where are we? Xeno dogs. So I'm after. Okay, that's fine. Now, these. This is how I clean them. I've got two cleaning stations. One is a dirty station. One's a not so dirty station. Um, dirty, dirty station. Um, now, um, this one. I had a couple of extra models that I hadn't um, cleaned yet, so I put them in there already. But. It's just full of isopropyl. Dirty station, clean station. <clears throat> I'm just going to take these out of my dirty station and put them in the clean one. This is like a two stage cleaning process. And yeah, I don't mind getting my fingers in the um, isopropyl. This, like, this stuff will wash off with water um, pretty much, so whatever. I don't know. Other little bits that I put in there? No. Okay. So these are the ones that I just did. Now I like to put them base first because crud does tend to sit on the bottom of the stations. So um, if you let these go in um, and the actual model touches the floor of the cleaning station, you can end up with sticky shit on your models, which is um, which is no good. No one wants sticky shit in their models. Um, um, yeah, so, now these ones are just, this, this second stage bath is nice and clean and stuff, so this is just to really clean them off. And I will, I will end up doing another video on how to manage, um, these, um, these stations because you can reuse your isopropyl for ages, ages and ages and ages. I've had um, a five litre bottle of isopropyl going for, I don't know, probably about two years and um, it's, it's still going because um, I recycle my isopropyl. Um, so you don't ever want to throw this stuff out. It's, um, it's expensive-ish. I mean, if you're going through it, if you're going through it quickly, it's expensive. Um, but yeah, like I said, I had a five litre bottle going for donkey's years. Um, so that one is done. I'm just going to close up my first bath here. And this is just isopropyl on my hand, so I'll just, just wipe this off. A bit of extra isopropyl on top of things is fine because it helps clean shit. Um, And these, um, just to rinse off the isoprope, I just um, take them into the bathroom and run them under the tap. And then they're all clean, they're, re they're good to go. You can put paint straight on them, the paint won't peel off. Um, they're just nice and clean models. And that is about that, I think, for this video.